Today is Tuesday, 4th of October, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is Wisdom Through Words. Our theme scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, and it says, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. Hallelujah. In 1 Kings chapter 3, the Bible tells us of a remarkable encounter Solomon had with the Lord. Pastor begins, Solomon had offered more than a thousand burnt offerings to God in Gibeon. The same night, the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Solomon, ask for anything you want. In response, Solomon answered, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, according to 1 Kings 3 verse 9. Oh, how it pleased the Lord that Solomon asked for this. But here is what I want you to notice. After the encounter, Solomon was said to be the wisest man on the face of the earth. The Bible says, And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt, for he was wiser than all men. That we can find in 1 Kings 4, 29-31. Oh, how did Solomon get the wisdom? God only appeared to him in a dream. There was no physical contact. But God spoke words and wisdom was imparted to Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 12 of the ESV, the Lord said to Solomon, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has been before you, and none like you shall arise after you. Solomon believed, and immediately he began to manifest wisdom. Praise God. God gave Solomon wisdom through words, Pastor says. He said it, and that was it. Did you know that he did the same for us? Only that in our case, he gave us something greater than what Solomon had. Our theme verse says, Christ Jesus has been made unto us wisdom. And Jesus said of himself, A greater than Solomon is here. According to Luke 11 verse 31, Praise the Lord. And pastor says, Jesus Christ, a greater than Solomon, is your wisdom. Sophia in Greek. Sophia is theoretical wisdom and insight into reality. It's the collective understanding of things. Christ is your excellent wisdom. The wisdom, phrenesis in Greek of the righteous, is given you in Christ Jesus. It's practical wisdom. Hallelujah. Thus, in Christ, he has granted you the ability to understand concepts and see relationships between them. He makes you do and say the right things before you think. How amazing this is. Praise the Lord. Now think about the amazing things Solomon did because of the wisdom of God at work in him. And pastor says in conclusion, you can do much more today because you are greater than Solomon. You have the wisdom of Christ. Oh, blessed be God. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, I walk in wisdom. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, I walk in wisdom. A force that makes me do and say the right things at the right time, in the right way, for God's purpose. Christ is my wisdom. That wisdom effectively works in me to produce fruits and works of righteousness to the glory of God. Hallelujah. All right, for further study, please read Luke 1 verse 17, Proverbs 16 verse 16, and Ephesians 1 15 to 17. Praise God. We have the wisdom of the righteous mentioned in Luke 1 verse 17, yielded and given to God's word. 
For the wisdom of God is his word, destined for our glory before time began, according to 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.